I'll come back for one more play. Famous words that changed my life. Coming up next. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and beside there there's a notification if you can go ahead and click on that one as well and click for all anyway you'll get a notification of my next upload and thank you again for the people who's already blessed me for being part of my community and my peeps do you say peeps anymore nowadays or is that some old 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 word down do you say peeps i don't know hey let me know below if peeps is still usable or not you know i'm getting too old to, to even use words like that but please go ahead and subscribe and get to clicking for the notification on the next upload and thank you again all right now let's see here it was 1900 that's how my grandfather said you know instead of just going it was 1983 he would go it was 1983 three of september 11th all right so september 11th 1983 a bunch of us together was playing football it was a pickup game backyard football however you want to say it. i was two weeks into college and no pads no helmet but we were playing tackle football we'd been out there i don't know a couple hours already and so it was uh, time for me to leave because uh, I needed to get some studying done. Uh, this is on a Sunday to get ready for class the next day. And so I walked away from the huddle. I got maybe 10 feet from the huddle. And then I heard someone say, we need someone to run the ball. I turned around and I said, I'll come back for one more play. Famous last words. So I get in the huddle. We already said they need a runner, so I'm going to run the ball. They would get out there, hut, hand it off to me. I bust through the line, bust a couple of tackles, got all the way to the end zone, scored a touchdown. All right, touchdown. As I was turning towards everyone, I saw something in my peripheral vision. I don't know what it was. Uh, I mean, I just saw something, and then I felt contact on my shoulder, felt contact, then I heard a loud pop, and we both went to the ground. On that day, September 11th, 1983, only one of us returned to our feet, and I'll give you a hint, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I was paralyzed instantly, and I knew I was paralyzed instantly. What's so bad is the loud pop that I heard. I actually thought, from what I saw in the peripheral vision, felt the contact hit, I actually thought that my collarbone had gotten broken, is what I thought. So at the beginning, the first time um, I tried to get up, I left my head up and nothing came with me. My shoulders didn't come up, my arms didn't come up at that time, legs definitely didn't come up. So then, put my head down, took a deep breath. And try the second time. Uh, get my head. Uh, I'm trying even harder. Nothing came up. I knew I was paralyzed instantly. It uh, re reminded me of a friend that I had met when I was about 13, 14 years old. Uh, the guy was like in his early 30s, was in a nursing home. And I remember going visiting my grandfather who was in a nursing home. And he, this other guy, JT, was two rooms before my grandfather. And one day I was going to go visit my grandfather and this guy, JT, never met him before. And all of a sudden he goes, hey, bud, come here, bud. So I go into his room and ask me if I can hold his water so he can get a drink. And I'm thinking, look how young this guy is. 30 something years old. I'm thinking here again, I'm 13, 14. I am thinking, look how young this guy is in a nursing home. And I didn't know what his problem was. Uh, but I knew he couldn't move his arm because he asked me to hold the water with a straw so he get something to drink. And then he thanked me, and I went down and visited my grandfather. And then over time, JT and I, I talked to him. I would stop and talk to him and everything. One day my mom was telling me uh, she knew JT and knew his wife at that time, and he was in a car accident and paralyzed him. So then here I am on the field, you know, 
play football and I'm laying there. I knew I'm paralyzed instantly. First thought of me was JT and I was going to be at the age of 19 in a nursing home because I couldn't walk or move my um, uh, neck down. That was my first thought. So, not to say that uh, I would wish this ever happened. No, because there's a lot of other things that goes wrong when you get paralyzed. But I got to admit, over the long haul, from the beginning of all the suffering, crying, anger, confusion of what's, what was going on being paralyzed, over the long haul, 30 plus years, you know, I ain't really done as bad as I thought I could have. You know, I've been over in Africa, Camorra Islands, been to Europe, Paris, Germany, been around the United States some. And so, uh, I mean, I've, I've coached a year, teacher a year. So I've done quite a bit more than I thought I would have. But famous last words that changed my life is I'll come back for one more play. And that, that point on the hit, that was the day that my life as I knew it, walking, running, playing sports, whatever else, being physically fit, died and that day is when i was born reborn to be paralyzed in a wheelchair dependent on people for some things and dependent on a lot of other things but not knowing near as physically strong either so that was the day my life changed hey if you have any questions uh, put them down in the comments hey be sure to like this give a thumbs up and like if you don't mind I'd surely appreciate it. Share it to someone you think that might be able to uh, help. And again, I would, uh, I'll would i give you some more information in another video coming up in a little bit one day. Maybe not in the next week or so, but I'll add some more information if anybody has any questions. Hey, thank you for all you've done. Again, be sure to subscribe and get that notification bell. Do something today, tomorrow, something next week that's going to help you persevere past your paralysis.